What's going on YouTube? It's Lutetium Tech here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Kubuntu install USB stick in five minutes or less. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go down here to our web browser and type in kubuntu.org slash get kubuntu. This will take us to the Kubuntu official download page where we can then see every release of Kubuntu that's available for download. For most new users, I'd recommend installing the first LTS release from the top. In this case, it's 22.04.1, though this may change based on how far in the future you're watching the video. Click on the 64-bit download button, which will then begin your download. So it's been about 10 minutes and Kubuntu is fully downloaded onto my system. So the next thing that we're gonna do is go down to the start menu and scroll down in the list until we find the Microsoft Store under M, right there. From the Microsoft Store, we'll go to the search bar and we'll type in Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. Rufus is a free tool that allows us to image our USB and make it fully bootable. We'll click the install button right here. This will begin the installation of Rufus onto our Windows 10 or 11 PC. Now that Rufus is installed, we can click the open button and then click yes on the window asking if it can make changes to the computer. Now that Rufus is open, we'll go to the device dropdown menu and make sure that we select our USB stick. I'd recommend unplugging all other USB stick and detachable storage devices except for the one that we're going to be formatting just to ensure that no accidents happen. Next, we will go to the boot selection menu and make sure that disk or ISO image please select is what's showing on this box. And we will then click the select button. This will open our downloads folder where we can then double click on the Kubuntu desktop image. We'll make sure that the boot selection updates to our Kubuntu image and we'll leave everything else default and then click start. We'll make sure that it says write in ISO image recommended and it will then warn us that all data will be destroyed, and we'll click OK. This will then begin the formatting of our device with Kubuntu. OK, it's been a few minutes here, and the box now says ready, which means that we can close Rufus, and then go down here to the taskbar, click this little up arrow in the bottom right-hand corner, click on the USB icon for safely removing hardware, and then click the eject, followed by the name of your USB drive, and once the safe to remove notification appears right here, we can then remove our USB drive. And it is ready to be placed into any computer to install Kubuntu. Hope that this video helped you out to create a Kubuntu bootable USB drive on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. If the video helped you out, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps more people to find awesome content like this. My name is Lutetium Tech. Bye for now.